Alright, hey, what's up, guys? E.T. Zombie, back with another video. Hey, that was pretty quick. Uh, it was about 30 seconds since uh, I rec recorded my last one. I didn't even upload it yet or anything. So, anyways, this video is going to be a stainless steel, well, first off, an authentic stainless steel and copper Mutation X RDA comparison. And a short, 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 quick update on the CLT version 1. Alright, so just real quick, this is probably going to be another quick one. I'm just going to switch the camera around and dive up close to check these out. Alright, here we go. Alright guys, so here we are up close with the authentic uh, stainless steel and copper Mutation X RDA. Um, both of these I bought at um, at uh, VaporDNA.com. Um, uh, the stainless steel one was twenty five bucks. The copper one was thirty. Um, I bought the stainless steel one about a month ago, and I bought the copper one just uh, last week. So I just want to show you some um, some quick comparisons here. Okay, the uh, the two decks. They are very, very similar, if not identical, to the untrained eye. Or if you're just not looking at it close enough. And I don't even know if you'll be able to tell on this, but... Okay. So stainless steel one. This is the copper one. They're both stainless steel decks. However, the copper version is slightly bigger. Okay, the posts and the post holes and the screws are the same, but the deck, the juice well, is like a little bit deeper. Um, you can't really tell in this video, but I mean, it looks a good, uh, you know, it looks a good uh, mill deeper, maybe. And then look at right here, the bases. You could totally see that right there. Um... The one on the left has the two O-rings towards the top, and this one is, like, much beefier. Thicker O-rings, even. One O-ring is, like, two of those O-rings. Very strange. Neither one of these are, um, clones. Like I said, they're both authentic. Um, but they were bought about a month apart, like I said. So then you got the bottom decks here, okay? Even the finish is slightly different. Just this finish. Everything else is the same. However, if you look at the serial number, the one on the left, 8284, and then this one has five numbers. Four numbers, five numbers, and it starts with a, uh, a letter as well. Um, I just thought it was kind of weird. Yeah. Alright, so... Um, besides that, I mean, everything else is uh, identical. I mean both authentic, so I mean, why wouldn't they be, but I just thought that was weird how the base was just, you know, a little bigger and stuff. Um, so yeah, everything else is exact. It's just the base that's slightly different. Um, the copper one is, uh, you know, slightly deeper and uh, beefier, and then it has a slightly different finish on the bottom. I just thought that was... Just kind of weird, okay? Well, that's pretty much that. Um, da -da 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 -da. Okay, so there's all that. Um, now, the CLT version 1. In uh, my review for it, I made the mistake of saying that the uh, Copper 510 connection was not adjustable when it is indeed adjustable. Oh, shit. Okay. So, here we go. Da -da -da. Screw it out. Adjust the bow. And uh, I saw somebody else do a video on this, and I guess one they said it was non-adjustable, too. Oh, well, hey. CLT version 1, also authentic, also from VaporDNA.com. Adjustable. So, uh... Alright, guys. Uh, that's it for this video. So, uh... Once again... Thank you for watching. Um, remember to fight the FDA and uh, let's keep calm and vape on.